The Guild of Savagery, the destructive combination of red and green. For over 20 years, the red-green color combination has been the embodiment of fury, primal rage, true aggression. When you hear gruel, you think smash or destroy or stupid or even not gruel, then die. To say stereotypes have defined the image of gruel is an understatement. It's time to challenge these stereotypes. In this video, we're diving deep into the gruel philosophy to see what makes the color pair tick. But before we can do that, we have to talk about red and green individually, the foundations of the guild. I do hope you enjoy the video. Red is the color of human nature, the color of emotional freedom, physical freedom, true individuality. Red is the human color. Because of that, red is emotional, 100% emotional. If red wants something, it doesn't think too much about it. It goes after what it wants. The basest emotional response. You know that cute coworker you've wanted to talk to for months but haven't had the guts to? Red would have gone up to them immediately because red wears its heart on its sleeve. This may make red sound simple, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Emotions are far more complex than logic. Knowing you want something, knowing what it takes to get what you want, knowing the risks, we see this reflected in card design. Desperation breeds risk. Gamble, game of chaos, desperate gambit, chance encounter. Red acknowledges it doesn't have ultimate power. It knows exactly how strong it is, and because of that, is perfectly willing to summon chaos to achieve its goals. Some may consider red the dumbest or simplest color, but really, it's just the most dedicated. Red always knows what it wants. It always has the drive to get what it wants, and it will do anything to succeed, and I mean anything, whatever it takes. Red is the most volatile color in magic, but if you take anything away from this video, let it be that red isn't simple or stupid. It's just insistent. Insistent on getting what it wants. Insistent on helping those it cares about. Insistent on true freedom, living the way it wants with whomever it wants. Whereas red is the color of human in nature, green is the color of nature, full stop. Green is the color of instinct. Green believes the world exists as it should be. It believes in natural birth, growth, decay, and death. The circle of life is sacred to green. The color cares about community and interdependence. More than any other color, green believes that everyone and everything is connected. Life is a web tying together all beings. And to interrupt that delicate system, that web, is tantamount to assault on nature. Green is known to be an aggressive color in all respects, and there's a reason for that. Green creatures are large and aggressive because that is the natural way. Predators tend to be large and aggressive. Green is also known for its impressive resource gathering capabilities because that's also the natural natural way, growth. That's why green is the ramp color. In nature, plants grow, everything grows. So when someone or something comes along to impede that growth, or worse, destroy it, green gets angry. It views unnatural change as an attack on life itself, and it will not hesitate to respond accordingly. Green defends the natural process of things using overwhelming power at a moment's notice. This is what green does, its instinct, remember? Green uses its instinct to defend anything natural, and it does it swiftly and powerfully without any hesitation, and that is where we make our our connection to red, and that is where the gruel is born, instinct. Gruel is instinct incarnate. Red and green are allied colors because of this fundamental truth. Both of these colors value base emotions. They think whatever they feel is right, whatever they know is right. By creating barriers, limitations, unnecessary actions, you're impeding freedom, whether that be emotional freedom, physical freedom, or natural freedom. You're impeding it, and Gruel hates that. It hates it so much that it won't hesitate for a moment to stomp you out. These base instincts manifest in a few ways, but the most obvious way is aggression. Red desires freedom, green desires freedom. What's important to remember is that they both desire freedom aggressively. Red will attack without warning, green will attack without warning, gruel will attack without warning. By combining resources and power, red and green create a truly formidable guild. The gruel have answers the colors individually do not. Red destroys artifacts and creatures on the ground very well, green destroys enchantments and creatures in the air very well. Gruel has its bases covered, which makes gruel the most aggressive and most dangerous guild when it comes to pure combat, and that's gruel's primary strength power. You take the immense size and strength of green and then the aggression and speed of red. This is one way that both colors compromise a bit. Red is faster than green and green is bigger than red. When you combine them, you get big green creatures being rushed out the door by red. Take Riot, a fantastic new mechanic. This is quintessential gruel. The haste comes from red, the plus one plus one counter comes from green. In this way, the gruel take advantage of both its speed and its power, granting the caster flexibility, almost like showing off, proving that the color combination can work in 
sync, enough to control both the size and speed of its attack, and this doesn't solely apply to creatures. I mentioned red and green combining to destroy artifacts, enchantments, and even lands. Hall Breach, Decimate, and Deus of Calamity are representative of the true destruction Gruul is capable of. But that isn't all of what Gruul is. Remember, red does care about those it loves, green cares about everything. This manifests in Gruul cards that aim to protect its creatures against destruction because life is sacred. Cinder Vines and Rhythm of the Wild are amazing new examples of this idea. While they are enchantments, which Gruul normally hates, these cards aren't represented that way. They are the power of the forest, the power of defense through cooperated aggression. Gruul's dominant power is responsible for its greatest weakness, everything else. Because Gruul is so focused on attacking with overwhelming strength, it leaves everything else by the wayside, including backup or a plan B in case attacking doesn't work. That's the other side of this coin. In exchange for ultimate power, Gruul gives up depth. It gives up a second act. If attacking with powerful creatures doesn't work, there's nothing left to do. That's the only plan. Red and green are both so focused on dominating the opponent through a single method, destruction, that they can't possibly see other avenues of victory. This leaves Gruul open to mass removal, strong disruption, tempo ruining spells. The guild has to go under the opponent to win, and if it can't do that, the battle's probably over. Red and green get along well, but that doesn't mean there aren't issues. Both red and green are quick to act, never thinking before they do, and while most of the time that's a good thing, it does create conflict. Red attacks because it desires freedom. It desires freedom for itself and for those it cares about, no one else. Green desires freedom for everything natural, literally everything. Red doesn't really understand this. Red understands protecting those you love, but not those you don't know. Putting your life on the line for strangers or trees or animals? Red doesn't like the idea of going to battle for anything beyond its own self self-interest, but green demands that. Community is above the individual. That's green's entire shtick, but red isn't having it. There is a fundamental disagreement there, but thankfully, that disagreement is often drowned out by the need for cooperation, as again, both colors value freedom. The desire for true freedom bonds red and green together so fiercely that no amount of differing priorities could break them up. That's why they make a strong guild. Gruul is instinct, it's emotion, it's freedom. In a lot of ways, in most ways, it's very human. As you might think, Gruul hates other colors colors, its biggest enemy, blue. Honestly, anything that associates with blue, both these colors hate blue to their very core. Blue is the color of knowledge, of patience, of thinking. Gruul despises thought and patience. Both red and green follow instinct, emotion, what they feel. Of course, they're going to disagree with the way that blue does things. Gruul Spellbreaker, great example for this. This is red and green coming together to say no to colors seeking to outsmart Gruul, outplay Gruul. Normally, here is where I discuss opposing guilds, but honestly, Gruul's hatred for blue alone is much stronger than its hatred for any color combination in all of Magic. Throughout the history of the game, we've seen this hatred manifest in card design. Wind Reaper, Falcon, Yavi Maya, Barbarian, Nakatl, Outlander, Goblin, Pile Driver, and Great Sable Stag. Both red and green have a long history of hating on blue. As long as Magic has been around, a true antithesis, blue and gruel. Red and green together represent everything that's instinctual in the world of Magic and in many ways in our own lives. Gruul is always desperate for true freedom, the freedom to live, to grow, to prosper, unimpeded by anything, truly without shackles. When you think of Gruul, I know it's difficult to see beyond the ferocity and mindless rage, but try to remember it isn't mindless. It's driven. It's dedicated. It's a resolute belief in what's right. Beneath the layers of savagery and chaos is a strong and stable foundation, a foundation built on love, community, and the desire to live free. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. If you like Gruul, now is a great time to pre-order the Ravnica Allegiance Gruul Guild Kit, led by none other than Rurik Thar himself. The Gruul Guild Kit comes with beautiful lands, host of Gruul staples, including Birds of Paradise, Ravager Worm, Protean Hawk, and a lot more. For only $22, you can pre-order your copy right now. Click the link on the screen, helps the channel out a lot, and you'll guarantee yourself an amazing new Guild Kit. Enjoy!